up guys this is productivity pixel here we have the unboxing guys here of my brand new 16 inch macbook pro this is last year's macbook pro this is the m1 max chip 10 core cpu 30 32 core uh, 32 core gpu 60 16 core neural engine a 645 memory and a 45 41 one terabyte ssd the fund of four Thunderbolt port to HDMI port SD, SDXC card slot, mag, mag, max A3 port, has touch ID, your liquid Retina HDR display, as the Pro Bundle apps, your Final Cut Pro and your Logic Pro, and it has a back backlight magic keyboard with touch ID inside with the an accessory kit. So, and I have a couple of accessories that are gonna go with this computer. I'm gonna show you guys here and dedicate the accessories. So I did get some some cool stuff i'm gonna show you guys here so i bought two type of cases from amazon apple uh, hooked me up with another case and i'm gonna show you it right now so since this item was delivered because of covid apple in gave me this for free the tech 21 a evo, evo tint case it's a case with a macbook pro it has its its it, protection everywhere it's lightweight that's a cool case I got. And plus, uh, I did order the Samsung. The background is the Samsung M7. We'll be using that M7 monitor for the, the stuff. Some stuff I bought is this mouse, this MX key keyboard, and some accessories. So this is what we're gonna use. We have the, now let me show you guys what laptop I'm gonna be upgrading from, from point A to point B. And this will actually say a lot. What, what are we getting into? What is the upgrade? What are we upgrading from? I did have the 14 inch MacBook Pro. I sold that because it was running too slow with 16 gigabytes of memory. I should've got more. But we're upgrading from the Lenovo L14. Here it is. The 14 one. This has been a computer. It's been a pain in the butt to use because it's so big, this computer. It has all the ports I need, but it's so big that I don't, don't like how slow it is with 32 gigabytes and it, it lags a lot. So we're gonna get that situated. So I did get a USB C to C because the computer has C, the Lenovo. Let's grab this out, packaging wise. Okay, here's your C cable. And that's about it with that. Okay. Mm, you get some documentation, you, you might not need that. We, did, we ordered a big one because it's going to college. I'm going to D-Sales to for the biology program. And I'll be doing a lot of uh, videos there for the for the pre-med. And I'm going to get you guys videos updates on that. So here it is. Let me grab this out. Okay, here it is. It's a it's a bigger... This cable is... A, how do we call it? This cable right here is like a little fabric cable. It's pretty cool. It's pretty like rugged. It looks like a rug. So that's your cable. And documentation-wise, it's a bigger version of that. So side, the Apple Magic Club is right here. Let me grab this right here. Voila. I have one, but I ordered a second one. So here's your Magic Club. I'm going to use that to clean all my products here on my table. Let's grab the, the MX Mouse 3. Here it is. MX Anywhere 3. So it has C connectivity. Those are your specs right there. Let's grab the, the box. It has a, a max speed. We're going to get all this out of the box pretty quickly to get into the computer. Oh, it was open backwards. Okay, here's your mouse. Your C connector right there. And how would I get it to work with Bluetooth? Okay, in the box, you do get here. Ah, oh, I'm going to You do get here your little connector. If you're going to use this via the, the all those other computers and you do get here a charging cable that is type C to USB A but I'll be using a lot of a type C stuff. Uh, on this machine setup I have a camera there set up the Logi cam and I'll be using this anchor type C hub and let's grab the MX keys here. This is a MX key keyboard. Kind of dusty, a little bit dirty because I've been, I mean, this is my main key what I've been using for the last year. So the MX keys, pretty cool. So now, since we have everything here ready, let's, let's go, uh, let's go and unbox the machine. 
put all this to the side because we don't need this right now. We might need it later, just in case the setup doesn't go correctly. We might actually revert back to the instructions, but I don't think we'll need those instructions right now. Put this mouse to the side. We don't need the mouse now. Let's grab the behemoth. So this is my personal machine. I actually paid for it out of my own money, selling a couple of my old stuff, and I was able to get it. So here it is. Let's put this back to the side. Let's put the iPad over here and let's grab the computer. This is my uh, 16 inch one. I wanted a bigger, fatter version of this one, so. Okay, let's put this computer right here. Whilst we look into that computer, look at the accessories, you do get, okay. Okay, you do get the same cable, I bought a second one, so I'll probably keep the second one for my personal bag here. I'll put this one for my, my bag to take to school with. Yeah, a lot of documentation here. No microfiber club, but you do get here some Apple stickers. I think are the space gray ones. They should still be here somewhere. Yep, they're in here somewhere. Okay, let's grab this documentation because... Yeah, here, here are your Apple stickers. They're going to be very inside there. You might see it. So yeah, that cable I already have. Let's grab this one. Woo! I have something that goes with this, guys. If it's not down here, it's down here. So right here, I have this prong adapter to regular USB, regular uh, power brick thing. So we're gonna replace this. I know certain schools here in colleges will have their like brick, but I will still recommend using this. Okay, plug that in, and we're gonna plug this into power, but this is gonna be, it's gonna take its time, set up, and all that. Right, let me see if I could unplug some stuff around here to use. Okay, there we go. Yeah. That's brick, and we're gonna plug it into that. So put this back in the box, guys. We don't need the box right now. We're just gonna get the machine set up and get the machine started right now. I've been waiting for this machine for a while. I'm, I'm doing a, a general studies major and then I'll be trying to do the biology. So I've been waiting for this machine forever. It took a while because of COVID. Because I, I started class and I was expecting this to be like on oh, for the summer session to get the machine ready and rolling. But nah, it's fine. So here it is the back of the machine. Let's take a look at the ports guys. Okay, there's your ports right there. You get your headphone jack, your two uh, Thunderbolt Type-C and your MagSafe connector. The other side you do get here your HDMI, another Thunderbolt port and your SDXC card. Since this is gonna get set up like this, let's grab the case. Let's grab the case. Let's grab guys here the the casing and let's grab a case we're gonna install this case on the new MacBook Pro it should should be pretty straightforward how to install this case it shouldn't be like hardcore science so yep so step one it would be inserted in the case this computer is heavy guys so let you know guys, this computer is going to be a little bit heavy for you guys to like in right here. It has a protective film on the back, so. So yeah. For it crash to the ground for a second, I'll pick it up later. Okay. And let me insert in right here, I guess. This is another protector film. You guys will hear a lot of films in, in this unboxing. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, all this is in. Okay. So in, let's me remove the plastic. I don't know how this plastic is so fused in, so. There we go. Set up the computer. We're gonna set up my. We're gonna set up in English. And we're gonna set everything up the way it's supposed to. We have a nice case over it to protect it, so we're pretty much there with the casing. Let's continue with the casing itself and get the rest of the machine set up to the spec we wanted to. So, guys, we're gonna get this all set up right now. We're gonna get the machine. To its standards where we want it to be with the with the Mac OS and all the all the future accessories that are gonna go with this machine. This machine is my dream machine. I saved up because when I got my first MacBook, uh, when I started the beginning of college in 2015, was the 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch, and I got scammed at the King of Prussia Mall. They the guy there said I needed something pretty powerful for school. He said get the i7, but I lacked in RAM. I got the base eight gigs. And then I went up with 16, they, they have to replace the machine and they were pretty much pretty cool. The service at Apple is pretty awesome guys. If they repair it a couple of times, you will get a replacement. So not now. Connect your password here, let me connect to it. I did upgrade to Wi-Fi 6 E, the Asus, Asus, 1D Pro, so yeah, so. This should connect automatically. We might need to uh, power cord A to B to the old laptop. So let me grab the old laptop and we will get it started. Because if I need I need a connector here, I'm gonna show you guys how this is gonna roll on, on the on the Windows side of things. Because I'm gonna be filming this in point of view on my chair because I don't have like a big table to continue guys to get get this video out there for you guys. It's I don't have uh, enough room, but I'm gonna show you guys here how this this thing behemoth is gonna connect to Windows. I will like screen record. No, it's pretty simple. You just need to get an app on the on the on the web site from Apple. It's called I think Windows Transfer or something like that. I think I have it installed on my own machine, so we should be all good. A lot of paper here, accessories, so we're gonna show you guys how this is gonna work. So step one guys, what we're gonna do while we're setting this machine up is you're gonna connect your C cable to your, your laptop. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So first of all, we're gonna go via this setup. This setup is pretty simple. You're gonna click continue. Uh, okay, it says you're from a Windows machine, no time machine, because if you guys have your old time machine routers, this would be a good idea, but no. You don't need, if you're transferring Windows to Windows, you, you will not need this. So I'm gonna show you how this works, so. First of all, guys, unwrap your C cable. You need to. You could actually buy the Apple one, or you could actually use your. If you have an iPad, this will actually work too. You C to C. So step one, guys. It will say here connected. I'll show you how this works because I have my laptop here. So from a Windows PC. Okay, connect to an AC power. So we do have it here. Let me grab that. I have the AC connector here that we're gonna be using. Okay, let me grab this. This is its own cable. It's good to have two guys because it depends where you add. You might need a second one because you might be be a backpack. So yeah, let me grab the connector here. I've been wanting this computer for a while, guys. So it's been been a pleasure, guys. It's been waiting for it. So. Here is your MagSafe connector. So, so what they need from you is to connect your MagSafe adapter. This to this. Okay, select the PC. So step one guys, open up your, your laptop and on the side right here, you might see here, you see, you're gonna connect it to either this or this. Those are your C connectors, so plug it into one of these. So I'm gonna open up the machine here. It's pretty straightforward. 
I can't show you the other side because I'm filming currently with the current I'm filming the video on with the main computer right there. So so if you're using a Windows guys, you might need to connect it. So we're gonna connect this. They use the I think it's the I the I think I have the app installed here, so we're gonna eh. It's called a transfer app. So I'm gonna show you guys here. So there's an app. I think I don't have if I don't have it installed, it should still be here. So you need the Windows Migrate Assistant. I think you have it. Okay, I have it. It's called the Windows Migrate Assistant. So you need to click install. It's gonna go via the I'll I'll link you down below, guys. The the step by step instructions. Install that. Have the the thing open here. It'll say okay, Chrome Edge. Okay, let's me quit all this. We don't need that. So let me quit all this. Okay, so we're just gonna exit out. We're gonna leave all this and get the new. I got the migrate assistant installed, and it'll tell you here. Yeah, we need to shut down Edge. So, so let me go into my task manager quickly. We Edge might be open. Microsoft Edge. So. Microsoft Edge quickly and then we're gonna exit it out it says here so this took a little bit guys I might edit this out when I'm doing the editing on the final yep so step one we might need to do is see if the edge is open if it's not we're gonna reboot the machine it should take maybe a minute or so to reboot yep we're gonna first guys reboot the machine this is gonna be a simple task so <sighs> Yeah, let's, I'm not going to keep this machine and give it to my mom as a gift. Okay, reboot the machine quickly. Because it's going to take a while, guys. It's going to ask me to uh, edit out. So I'll edit this out, guys, for you pretty quickly. First time, guys, that I'm being using Final Cut Pro. So, yeah, this video is going to be a long one. But this is my dream machine. This is the machine I've been waiting for. It's gonna show you guys how to connect everything. The Windows computer, I know certain methods require Windows software, but you can you can install your virtual machine. It should be the same thing. Cause I, I don't expect them to be having an issue with compatibility. So let's get this started guys here whilst the machine decides to do its own reboot. Make sure it's taking a while because I, I need to get all my data from this so so we're gonna grab all my 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 usual data stuff from this machine you could actually transfer the data via the how do we call it CC to the hard drive but this machine is taking a little bit to reboot I hope I don't lose all my files because I have this machine already oh it's it's rebooting it shouldn't be taking that long. Okay. Guys, I'm going to edit this out because it's taking a while. But. It's taking a while, but it needs an update, but I really don't want to update this machine. This machine doesn't need an update. This machine doesn't need a reboot. Okay, it's doing like a, like a, like an update there, so I'm not sure what it's doing. I hate when machines like this do updates, because... 
I'm not usually a fan of this, but it is, it's there already. We're on. Come on. Come on. I'm getting a little bit aggregated with this machine, so yeah, we're gonna edit all this out and, and thing, so. We're just gonna edit all this out, edit it out. We're gonna put this on the computer and edit all this video, videography out. It's gonna take a little bit, but we're gonna edit it out. So we're gonna go to the points to these videos that I'm gonna have fun working on the Mac, so yeah. Now guys, Open up the Windows Migrate Assistant. And we're gonna click here, click continue. So connect the machine here. Okay, yep, yep. yep. Let's zoom in to show you guys here what it says right there. It says there the Mac. Click continue. Okay, it's asking me to put in a code. Continue. Checking laptop. It'll say checking, okay. All my files are gonna be here. We have 96 gigabytes to transfer, plus a lot of screen shared stuff. It's gonna be, all this will get transferred over. We continue. Okay, so I'm gonna set a, a password here. So, we'll set it up. Let me create one. I'm gonna say, usually I set these machines up pretty straightforward with the password stuff. So. Continue. I agree. I agree. Continue. It's gonna take a little while, guys, while well, this does its thing, but we're gonna continue on with the video. We're gonna actually connect this to this at the end. We're just gonna turn this on and click. No, click cancel. Okay, it's gonna take this there. Let's zoom in, guys, to show you guys how long it's gonna take. This is two hours and five minutes. Mm -hmm. And because I'm running it via the laptop, my older laptop here, I'm gonna show you how we're connected to it. So we're connected to it right now. It's doing its thing there with the migrate assistant. So yeah, let this thing do its thing. And we'll commence for us once this video is fully, fully fleshed and fully done. I'll be uploading a lot of videos on this machine. A lot of accessories I have for microphones. I have my old, my, a lot of accessories are going to be installed on this machine. And we're going to get this, this full machine running. This is the behemoth. I do like the size of it. It's pretty big. And I'll show you guys once it's all done. How this process works to do a transfer from A to B. I'll be right back guys. So guys, migration is complete. We're gonna click done. And then, you can see here's two devices in one. So we're gonna try to uh, sort this out, the migration, see what's going on. Uh, probably gonna have to phone Apple because I really don't know what's going on. I'll show me two uh, main devices. I wanted to show one. So we'll probably get to sort it out with Apple and go from there, guys. So guys, this was my first setup of my brand new MacBook Pro. This is the 16 inch M1 Max. This is the maximum of the computer. And this is a great computer, guys. And guys, I really enjoy guys this computer, guys. I'm gonna enjoy it with you as a pre-medical, using it for medical, to become a doctor, and do some content here and there for you guys here on my college videos and more. So guys, I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. I'll see you guys next time, guys, when I actually have a something new that I'm gonna potentially buy for you guys and I'll get you guys more vlog videos. Guys, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's tech1996.1 and then on IG is tangolover1996.1 just request to follow me and then my, it's I have a lot of uh, TikTok and information will be down below guys. So guys, something big's coming.
I'll see you guys in the next one, guys. Bye-bye, guys. Peace out.